Hello and I'm going to teach you how you can create a clock widget just like one of these right here. It's really easy to do so just follow the steps. First I'm going to tell you how you can create this analog clock and then how you can create this more like digital clock. So let's just get into it. Alright so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the link in the description which is indify.co and then you're going to either sign in with Google or enter in your email address. Okay and once you've done that you're going to see something like this. And what you're actually going to do is click on add a new widget or you're going to just scroll down which is easier and click on the clock right here. So if you click on create the widget, give it a title, it doesn't really matter. So for example, just call it clock, continue. And then as you can see, you already have a clock. So now you can change it how you'd like. So you can change how does it look, how does it work. It can be like this, it can be like this. Oh, this is also cool. I like to have it like this, the analog smooth. You can just play around this with this yourself, change the time zone. You can change it to a 24 hour clock. Mm. You can do everything you like. You can change even the colors, even everything. Dark like appearance. So that's pretty cool. Show off our menu. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this, so you, just, you just really have a lot of settings. Now, let's say that you've made this thing to your liking. You want to use the notion. Well, what you need to do is copy this link on the bottom of your screen. So just click on this thing and then go to your notion, go to uh, where you can type and then embed. So slash embed or search for embed yourself, paste in the link right here, click on embed link. And now it will show up automatically. So you can even increase the size if you'd like. Now, let's say that you want to move it, for example, to the right. What you're going to do is add in a column. So, for example, three columns. As you can see, I have three columns. You're going to now then move this thing to, like, this column. And now it's in the corner. So, it's just a little life hack. Probably you don't know. But if you know, then, uh, yeah, then you know. All right. And now for the digital clock, you're going to go to the link in the description, which is called a widget box. So, click on that. Click on create an account, use, in, use your Google account or enter in your email, really easy. And then you should be on this page. So you should already see the retro clock right here. Otherwise go to clocks and you see analog clock and retro clock. So you just click on create, pretty easy. Now here you don't have that many customization. You can change the background. So let's say you have a green theme, you make it green or just keep it like, uh, I add it on this little gray. You can give it white, black, what you want. Then the text color, you can also change this for anything you'd like. For example, white. And then how rounded are the corners? This is large, so as you can see the corners are more rounded. Yeah, this is what you want. Clock type 24 hour, 12 hour. I prefer this. And then when you're done with the customization, copy this. So select it, Ctrl C, or just click on this thing. Go to your notion right here, then go to somewhere where you can type, type slash embed, click on embed, paste in the link, click on embed link. And there you have it guys, pretty easy. Now, this thing does a little bit weird, as you can see, it goes not in the middle, but to the left. So how we can fix that is to go where you can type, add in a column, so you can, for example, add in two columns. Then you can have it on the left side. If you add in three columns, which I did right here, you can see it's now in the middle. And in that way you can also um, do it to the right. So if you don't know how to do it, slash column and add three columns. Then you have one, two, three columns. Then drag your clock, for example, drag your clock to the right. And then drag your clock to the right here. And now it's in the corner. So let's say that you have like, uh, here are your text, then you can have it in the corner like this. Pretty cool. Now, if this video helped you, I say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.